Hey guys, we're live. So just giving you guys a few seconds to come in. we're live hey everyone i don't even know it's today monday <laughs> okay it is uh, happy monday everyone so um maurice on instagram he's thanking everybody for all their prayers and uh, kind wishes to kimmy after she's going through this difficult time so let me share my screen so you guys can see and he's also sharing some beautiful pictures of kimmy you know going through it going through treatment so this is her this is the first one um, this is Kimmy. Like, I like that, you know, it's not showing her, like, always trying to be strong and stuff, like, showing her vulnerable, you know. Um, she looks beautiful in here. She's working, like, just being a soldier, you know. Um, but yeah, so she just looks great. I know you guys called it with the, uh, with the port, um, back when the trailer came out, remember? So yeah, um, this is all the pictures of Kimmy. So, uh, Marie says, thank you to all of you who have reached out um, to those that have prayed, to those have, who have sent love, and to the well-wishers, your support has been overwhelming. At Kimmy wanted to respond to all of you, but it's just too many of y'all that absolutely love her. Uh, the fight continues, and we're getting closer to ringing that bell. Thanks for the love, and tell your loved ones to get their mammograms. Hashtag Kimmy, hashtag Team Reese, hashtag Scott 2.0. Hashtag Love and Mary Chunsville, hashtag uh, Breast Cancer Awareness, hashtag Kimmy Scott, Marie Scott, 750 Challenge at uh, Jalen and Truly Reese. I wonder if Jalen has said anything. Uh, no. <laughs> but he looks good on Instagram, I know this. <laughs> Anyways, um, so yes, yeah, so Leticia, she's just um, sending heart emojis. I wonder if she said anything today. Um, not regarding Kimmy, I don't think. It's a picture of her and, and um, Marceau. But anyway, so uh, someone else says, oh, Carlos King is sending his prayers. OMFG Reality says, Kimmy got this. Heart emojis from Love and Marriage Huntsville page. Uh, my sis Kimmy better slay while getting her treatment. Looking great. Um, it's up from here and shout out to you, Mar uh, Miami Maurice. Uh, you know, I'm familiar with that caregiver life. It ain't for the faint of heart. Love y'all. Um, also be care to take care of yourself, Maurice. I'd like to speak on the behalf of many when I say that we're uh, praying for her, you and the entire village. Being a caretaker can sometimes be hard, even when we're taking care of the people that we love the most. My prayer is that every single one of you are getting support that you need. We're claiming victory over this difficult time. And my from my mouth to God's ears, she'll be completely healed from this and that it will never return and enter her body again. Y'all are loved blessings. So yeah, um, definitely about the caretaker thing. I'm not going to talk about my mom again because then I'm going to get all choked up. <laughs> so um, I'm in a good mood today, good spirits. So um, we're just going to send our positive thoughts to Kimmy. Um, she's going to ring that bell in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah, so thoughts and prayers for Kimmy. Someone said, I don't know Kimmy personally, but she is my favorite wife on the show. It saddens me that she has to go through this process. I hope for a speedy recovery. Love you guys and God bless. Someone said, praying for a complete healing. Someone else said, sending love and prayers, love Kimmy, hashtag my fave. Someone else said, praying for total and uh, divine healing for Kimmy. Someone else said, we absolutely adore you and love you. You are strong and resilient. You got this and God got you. You are definitely in his favor. Someone said, we love you, Kimmy. We are praying for complete healing in Jesus' name. You got this. Someone else said, uh, sending continual prayers for healing up for your soul, uh, Kimmy, prayers uh, to strength to Maurice and all of you caretakers and love you. 
So yeah, um, uh, this person says, I just completed chemo. May God bless you. So yeah, I bless her too. Um, but yeah, so definitely glad that, you know, they're showing this because they could have just kept it to themselves, you know, um, just showing her in a vulnerable state, but look how strong she looks. And I remember when my mom was going into surgery, she had the biggest, brightest smile. I wish I could show you guys that picture, but um, maybe I'll show you guys one day and just like blur our faces out or something. But yeah, um, yeah, definitely. I know like I was telling you guys that I was considered high risk. So they usually say to wait till you're like 35 to 40 to start getting mammograms. But I definitely think I'm going to get an appointment just to, you know, just to cover my myself. You know, um, she said that if she could help one person by uh, by showing her story, sharing her story, that it's worth it to talk about. So um, she's so brave. And hopefully this, you know, get somebody else to get their mammogram and catch it early or, you know, just give you peace of mind that you don't have anything, you know. But yeah, she looks so beautiful here and so strong. Um, just, yeah. So anyway, so that's what Maurice had to say. Um, people are just sending their prayers to her. So good vibes, positive vibes only. Um, one cancer survivor to another. God got you. Love you, sis. So this is bringing a lot of people like Man, I couldn't even watch reviews because all the all the content creators were breaking down. Like for its rocks, you know, she's my favorite. She was crying. I was just like, oh Lord, you know, like even on my review, like I, I got choked up. I, I had to mute it for a second. <laughs> but yeah, um, so yeah, it's just it's tough for all the fans, all the creators, everyone who loves her, and I'm sure for her family and the people that know her personally, you know. So yeah. Anyways, uh, let's see what you guys are talking about. Hey y'all, hey, hey everyone. Praying that God heals your body, be blessed. Yeah. Can we get generic screening besides the mammogram? I actually, I wouldn't be the person. I guess all I know is like you could get, um, what is it called? Like like DNA testing to see if you if you um, are likely to have it. You could get uh, self exams, mammograms. Can you get like an ultrasound just to like check or something? I don't know how it works. Um, but yeah, so. There's definitely different resources. Uh, I don't know. I don't really like this new um, new banner style. That's better. <laughs> yeah, I was like, why is it covering everything? But yeah, so um, yeah, anyways, I'm just so happy for Kimmy and um, Maurice. And Maurice, it seems like he's being there for her and supportive, which is exactly what she needs, you know? Um, but yeah, so I don't want to harp too much on this um, this topic, like I said, because I'll end up crying and stuff, and I don't want to do that today. I'm in a good mood. <laughs> but yeah, um, made the you make oh, that's what it's called genetic screening. Besides the mammogram recommended to women with daughters, that's what I need to get. Um, Angelina Jolie did it and had a double mastectomy. Wow. Um, unfortunately, this is more of a storyline than what the show had. Yeah, someone said this is the only real life storyline going on right now, and it's unfortunate, you know. Um, definitely don't even really want to make this like a topic, you know. Um, but this is something that's going on, you know, um, and it's a real reality um, that a lot of women have. And even, you know, men, they, they've dealt with it either themselves or, you know, their wives. I know my dad, man, my dad <laughs> went so gray uh, during that time because this was like five years ago. So they were like, 50, I guess. And before that, he didn't have that many gray hairs. But after that, his whole head went gray, like just dealing with that. And then it's crazy because like two years after my mom survived cancer, my dad um, uh, lost his sight to diabetes. Uh, he had a diabetic retinopathy. Retin I can never pronounce it. Retinopathy or something like that. Diabetic retinopathy or something where... Um, so the diabetes causes blood tissue to like stack along the eyesight and then his uh, retina, like part of his eye detached so it, he can't see at all. So that was a big adjustment for our family. <laughs> so I feel like I've definitely been a caretaker for a while now, <laughs> like at least five years, you know. Um, uh, hey everyone, yeah, uh, y'all go check out Angelina Jolie's journey about breast cancer. Wow, yeah, I think I've heard about it a few years ago when she was talking about it. Um, she got one of those genetic screenings, right? And then she decided to just get the double mastectomy so that she could be safe. Um, and then I guess you could just get like, you could like do that and then just get a uh, plastic surgery like my aunt did when she, because before, like a few years ago, it wasn't so like, it was more invasive. So there were more like scars and more like, you know, they just left your, your breast like not visually appealing uh, according to her. 
So she ended up getting plastic surgery and then she got a tattoo over her scar. So that's something you could do because a lot of women are worried about that kind of stuff, like, you know, what their breasts will look like after. Um, so, yeah, there's a lot of options. I think they said they took um, the doctors took uh, fat from her stomach and just made her um, some more breasts after that. But, yeah, anyways, I'm getting choked up. So <laughs> I'm going to end this live now, you guys. <laughs> but, yeah, um, so what do you guys think about all this? Drop your comments below and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe for more videos from Empress Radio. Okay, bye.